Students, we are learning financial management. In financial management, we have one important chapter called dividend policy. In dividend policy, there are three models, namely Walter model, Gordon model, and Yamma model. As far as uh, Walter model concerned, we completed two problems. One in relation to the growth form, another one is in relation to the normal form. In third part, we are going to learn the problem in relation to the declining firm. Here, the rate of return is lesser than cost of capital. Yes, let me see the problem. Sum number three. The earning per share of X limited are rupees 12. The rate of capitalization is 15%. And the rate of return on investment is 9%. Compute the market price per share using Walter model if dividend payout is situation A 25%, situation B 50%, in situation C 100%. Which payout is ideal? Which is uh, optimum they are asking? Yes, students, uh, in this problem, we are learning Walter model in relation to the declining firm. Here, the R is lesser than K. The rate of capitalization 15% that is K. Rate of return on investment that is R. Here the rate of return is less than cost of capital. So we can assume that one as a declining firm. Here we are learning to find the price, market price of equity share by using the Walter model. The formula is D plus R by K open the bracket earning per share minus dividend per share divided by K cost of capital. This is the formula. By using this formula we are going to find market price of equity share. In situation 1, situation 1 that is situation A the payout ratio is 25%. Payout is 25%. If payout is 25%, the retention ratio is 75%. As far as Walter model concerned, we do not require the retention ratio. We need a payout ratio. Yes, first we will find EPS. EPS, earning per share given in the question. That is rupees 12 per share. Then we need R. R means rate of return on investment, which is 9%. We can write it as 0 0.09. Then we need K. K means cost of capital or capitalization rate. In this problem, K is 15%. Or we can write 0.15. Then we need dividend per share. For that formula is EPS multiplied with the payout ratio. Payout ratio. EPS we know rupees 12. Our payout as far as uh, situation A concerned 25%. So our dividend per share is 3. Now we can find the price of the share. D is we just now we ascertained 3. Or we know 0 0.09. K, we know 0, 0, 0.15, open the bracket, EPS 12 minus dividend per share 3 divided by K, uh, K is 0.15. We are going to simplify, first uh, we should divide 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.15, we will get uh, 0 0.6. 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.15. 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.15 will get 0.6. Then deduct dividend per share from EPS will get 9. First we should multiply 0 0.6 with 9. So 0 0.6 with 9 will get 5.4 5 plus 3 divided by 0 0.15. So 8.4 divided by 0 0.15. 8.4 divided by 0.15 that is 15%. So 56 per share. 
if payout is 25%, the price of the equity share is 56. So when payout is 25, the price of the share is rupees 56. Then we we'll move to situation situation B. Payout is in situation two. Payout is fifty percent. Same formula I am going to apply. We have to change only one item that is called dividend per share. The formula is EPS multiplied by payout. EPS V naught twelve. Payout ratio is fifty percent. So dividend per share six. Now we can apply the formula. Dividend six plus R 0 0.09 by 0 0.15 open the bracket dividend per uh, EPS minus dividend per share divided by K 0 0.15 already I said first we should divide first we should uh, find the value of 0 0.09 by 0 0.15 we will get 0 0.06 0 0.6 sorry 0 0.6 then deduct dividend per share from EPS will get 6. First we will take the dividend. Then multiply 0 0.6 with 0 0.6 with 6. We will get 3.6 divided by 0 0.15. So 9.6 divided by 0 0.15. 9.6 divided by 0 0.15 we will get rupees 64 per share. When payout is when payout is fifty percent, the market price of uh, per equity share is rupees sixty four. Then we'll move to third situation. We'll move to third situation. Here the payout ratio is hundred percent. Payout ratio is hundred percent. We have to find the DPS that is called dividend per share formula. EPS multiplied by payout. EPS we know 12 per share, payout is 100%. So our dividend also 12. Now we can apply the formula dividend we know 12 or we know 0 0.09, K we know 0 0.15, open the bracket, EPS 12 minus DPS dividend per share 12 divided by 0 0.15. Earlier I said first year we should divide these values 0 0.09 by 0 0.15 we will get 0 0.6 then deduct to a, uh, dividend per share from uh, EPS we will get 0 so first what we have to do 12 plus 0 0.06 multiplied by 0 divided by 0 0.15 here what happens 12 plus 0 divided by 0 0.15 so 12 divided by 0 0.15 will get 80 per share. So when payout is 100%, each equity share market price is 80. Now we have to write analysis. Now we have to write analysis. X limited is a declining firm. X limited is a declining firm because rate of return is less than cost of capital. Here, when payout is more, the market price, price of share what happens increases students once again in declining form when we increase our payout ratio automatically it will increase the market price of the equity share then we have to find the optimum payout ratio optimum payout ratio for declining form is 100 percent students uh, we completed Walter model in Walter model there are three firms 
growth form, normal form and declining form. We completed all three problems. Now in next class we'll learn the problem in relation to the go down. Still then bye and